And welcome back to Toka Tales episode 11.2 on uh, Dangerous Roots. So, um, where we left off, you had just um, rescued all the people, ambushed a pair of illithids in their own home, and stole their ship and freed their people. Um, Fee, make a charisma roll at advantage. Oh yeah. They love you. <laughs> Not twenty. <laughs> they beyond love you. Okay. They worship you. All of the fifteen of the people that you just healed are absolutely infatuated with you. <laughs> you are the most unbelievable hero ever. Okay? They are falling at your at your what would be feet. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> The great serpentine one has saved us from the tentacled ones. <laughs> so do you leave a little uh, from promenade out of the storage room? How they... far away are they from me? In another room. Okay. As, wait, when I come like slithering out of the room, am I just followed by a line of people? Well, yeah, you just freed them. Unless, yeah, you're gonna leave them the unless you're going to leave them in there. You have a following. <laughs> I can become a cult. <laughs> you could start one, probably. Well, I need to ask questions before you pick up your cult. cultists. <laughs> well, I need yeah. to... Um, we need to ask them if any of them have flying experience for crew. Yep. First order of business. Well, the three dragonborn raised their hands. So who's gonna try and recruit them and who's gonna question them? Right now, she's got them right now. All she has advantage roll. on all her charisma checks with these fifteen, okay. right? Let's I'm just go, go talk with to the so, dude. Roll a persuasion check for the first one, and then roll a d100. Persuasion, the fifteen, and then total. Yes. Not bad. Twenty-two. Again. You roll high, baby. High. Twenty-five. <laughs> roll some better dice, sweetheart. Okay. So, uh, roll for the second one. <laughs> we have our blood steel. In so, roll a d20 for the second one for persuasion. With advantage, because they love you. Sixteen. Okay. Roll a d100. Really high. Really high. 49. That's better. Okay. I'm getting there. Is this advantage too? The hundreds? No. No. Good try though. And one more, D20, for the third one. That 20? Ooh. Uh, roll a D100. Really Come on, luck. Really high, really high. Come on, we need, we need someone good. Need you. We, need, we need a new first of uh, shipmate. So now we got the guy that cleans the shitter who loves you. <laughs> now it goes for 78. Okay. Um, do you want to deduct a hero point? I don't have any. You have extras off. I will lend her <laughs> one of my hero points. I know he has like three. I've got... Do you accept his hero point? Sure. Besides, you should have gotten okay. a hero point to I've get the soda. i one now. <laughs> okay. So I will let you drop one of those D100 rolls for that 78 one. I'm guessing you want to drop like the 12 one. The 4. So <laughs> drop the 4. Okay. So the 4 or the 12 would have been an arcane gunner. Okay. The like 30-ish one that you rolled. Okay. That one would be a basic deckhand who swabs the decks and so forth. The 40-ish one, I think it was? Yep. Okay, that would be a carpenter who knows how to do basic repairs. Literally. So you now have a deckhand and a carpenter. And at 78, okay. With a net 20. With the net 20, I will give you the extra couple of points onto that score to switch it from being a... Um, uh, um, carpenter? No. I just completely spaced on the name for it. Sergeant, man at arms, first mate, second mate, navigator, pilot, captain. 
Co-captain. Co-captain. The one that takes care of the um, logistics and storage. Navigator? Um, oh, um, ship manager. No. Um, yeah, what's the other word for it, though? Uh, uh, mate. No. It's like a treasurer, but... Uh, um, uh, quartermaster. Quartermaster. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. Go. Ooh, so yay. it'll Great upgrade score. from quartermaster to navigator. That works. That's perfect. And that's one you rolled the twenty for convincing. So he's very interested. Okay. Okay. So you gain a deck hand. Okay. Make it. Make a note on the actual ship, probably. Yeah. We need to actually like a staple right something. In the you know what? Use the back of. The smaller section. Oh yeah. Here, because that was easy like to flip too. over, and you can start putting down names. So, um, the navigator that you hire is a bronze dragonborn. Excuse me. And Bronze Dragonborn, um, Kath Seradesh. K E T H. We gotta make them good Dragonborn names. It sounded pretty good. Seradesh. C S H A R A D E S H. You spelled it differently, I don't care. I was about to put Sherabeth. Share a bath. Well, it's better than share a death. I like that name. <laughs> share the same death as someone. All right. Um, navigation plus five. Probably put that next to his name just to, to plus five navigation. All right. And then you have the um, carpenter who is a. Yeah. Gold Dragonborn. Yeah, we're just doing the Dragonborn at the moment. We haven't gotten to the brow yet. I feel like Wax would be running up behind them and just ripping off a scale and running away gleefully laughing. <laughs> like, I mean, when you say bronze, you say gold, I'm just like... <laughs> just running up to them. Um, Carpenter. Um, plus five. What's its name? Um, the Carpenter. Let's see... Somebody name a type of wood. Cedar. Okay. That's Somebody. Redwood. Cedar, redwood. Okay. Somebody name a ship part. Mast. Or. Red mast. Cedar fiend. <laughs> Good name for carpenter. What do you think? Is Red mast, bad? cedar fiend. I don't know. It's the first thing that came to mind. No, he's obsessed with wood, so you know he can go out and gather yeah. good wood. Hey, if he's the fiend on the beach, running around, look, picking up that dry wood, looking at it like it's a treasure trove, whatever floats your boat. You know, maybe if we start him off as Woodward. <laughs> <laughs> Woodward Red Mass Cedar Fiend. <laughs> but I thought we were gonna give him good dragonborn names. <laughs> if you don't worry, burn, burn so the what was, uh, what was the uh you just lost oh, your yeah. point <laughs> so we're in the deck hand right okay, deck hand good job fee we just lost the fucking navigator <laughs> we'll go back to quartermaster <laughs> as if that matters um and you have a bronze dragonborn, a gold dragonborn. And this one's green. And silver? Black. Brass. Ooh. Brass are jokers. They like to pull pranks. A lot of them. Yeah. That's how they get their kicks. And that's a deckhand. Yep. Watch Make sure we use extra wax. <laughs> Soap on the floor, so as you step off the stairs, <laughs> doesn't put out any floor signs. <laughs> Oil on the fucking you stairs, so you slide them down. Jerk the wheel every now and then just to make the ship go and <laughs> see how many people fall. 
I spin lots of it. It'd be fun while he does that till he's hanging off the boat by a rope. <laughs> Two days for, you know, a few hours upside down. And then we just ask him again if he wants to shift the boat. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't believe you! Push back off the boat. She dangles. See you in a few days. So what's Shit. this one's name? Yeah, that's a good idea, too. Um, <laughs> it's old school ship. Suggestions? We're creating new characters here, man. Dalbrick. Just one name. He's Delbrick? a deckhand. He doesn't deserve two names. Yeah. Sorry. He's just a deckhand. What were you thinking, Greg? I was just making confused noises. <laughs> I was trying to come up with something. Delbrick, Mark. Delbrick, Fiddlefuss. Fiddlefuck? Fiddlefuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's a deckhand. No one cares. <laughs> He's the deckhand. That's Nobody he gives his a last fuck. name is. No one actually knows what it is. Yeah. He's what a deckhand. It? Nobody cares. Delbrick Thindlebus? Fiddlefuck. <laughs> Fiddlefuck? Yeah, what the fuck? Why not? He's a deckhand. Who cares? Spell it with a Q? I don't know. Tiny P? Shaniqua. Does it start with a Q? Okay. Bel- Bel- Delbrick Fiddlefuck. Yeah, why not? Sure. Sure. All right. Uh, uh, what is the name of the um, one the that we talked to first? The guys, the princess? The the, not the princess, the guy, the next yeah, the princess. Like the These are the three guys she just recruited. Yeah, Where's the first guy? Like just the um, dragon one of them. These two sound like... Yeah, what did we roll him up as? We didn't. That was number four, and she's five. Those are the yeah. three in the no, hole. you rolled up one. You rolled up that first one. Just don't sound like dragon boys. Oh, yeah. You rolled um, high on the... He, he's a crewman now. Yeah, he, he he's a happy crewman. Suit. Yeah, he was a crew member. That was a, but I, I don't know. I don't yeah. That's right. No, we can roll for it. Okay, we can roll. So roll for it. One was a cook. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. It was a cook. cook. Yeah. Yeah, the cook. Yeah, we got so, the cook. Sorry. Good job, Tom. Head cook. Did we say a color for him? No. no. Green. Green marks. Head cook. Okay, so you're going to make a chromatic dragon that's notorious for poisons. No. Uh-huh. Your yeah, cook. Yeah, that's a poor choice. How about black steel, steel option? Black dragon. Could make him red. Uh, that'd be just as bad if not worse. Not steel. Silver. Okay. Yeah, red dragon. Could make him red. Then they could use well, he was. Is he silver like the princess? Yeah, yeah red would work. Uh, if it's the princess's know, brother there. Wouldn't they be about the same yeah. color? Well, there's the dead one. Yeah, the brother's oh, the dead yeah, that's one. Right. But I mean, okay, red so one. red, 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 red dragon. Red, red dragon sure. The only one that's not a uh, chromat, uh, metallic. Sorry. <laughs> Gold, brass, and bronze. Yes. Um, and what was his name? I don't think we gave him a name. No, we didn't give him a name. What's his name? Scorched Earth. I don't know. Um, bucket. Mop and bucket. <laughs> I was gonna say Scorch Red Earth. Squash. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just coming up with the names. What are other words Should for I... rotted meat? Carcass. Gross. Decay. Decayed. Um, rotted. Carcass. Um. Maggot infested. <laughs> Maggot. Corpse. Infested. Yeah. Yeah. Cadaver. Yeah. Putrid. Fetid. I think it's a word. Um, not quite. You're, you're close. Um, yeah. Tartar cadaverini. Tartar. Okay. Like the sauce? Yeah. Tartar sauce. Tartar? <laughs> like the sauce? Tartar. Steak tartar. Cadaverini. I think he's a cook. <sighs> Steak tartar cadaverini. Star Wars. The big ears. Jar Jar! <laughs> Jar Jar Binks! Oh no, he saved his life. Now he's eternally grateful. <laughs> oh god, Star Wars. He's memes. A lousy now he's gonna sanction the Clone Wars. <laughs> um, he's a doctor, Sith. No. He's a general now. Yeah, he's a Sith th- th- in disguise. I do love that theory. That's Even though I don't believe it. I don't believe it, but yeah. I just, I do no. love it. <laughs> But then again, you know, it's amazing how e- stupid some evil people have been. It that would is... shock no one. It's just highly unlikely. Uh-huh. But, Especially uh, when you put them in front. Yeah. All right. Now, so, um, what are you guys planning on doing with the ship as you head south with the... Oh, um, who wants... Does anyone want to try and... 
Um, recruit the halflings. Well, they love her still, so... Yeah, I'd say that if you want to try... Why don't I just make 15 gold for the other ones? And if it's... Oh no, all the drow you get to do in one roll. So you just have the two halflings to do. But then you get an advantage, so... Charisma? Yep. 19. Okay. And 19 again. Okay. Uh, roll d d100. 61. Mm. Okay, and then another one. Really, really low. Low? Can it shoot? <laughs> <laughs> 95. Oof. Okay. <laughs> First mate. <laughs> so. so these halflings are a pair of merchants. Oh, oh great. That, that were traveling through before they got captured. Um, we have Thaddeus. Thistlebottom. Thistlebottom. <laughs> um, and... Gladius. <laughs> Give them rhyming names. Gladius Thistlebottom, his brother, who is much useless and weaker than his older brother. Radim Gladibottom. <laughs> okay, Gladius in the gla- in the bottom. How's that? There you go. What, Gladbottom? Gladibottom. <laughs> Halfling merchants. With nothing to sell at the moment. But their souls. Okay. And do you want to try recruiting the drow? Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All ten of the drow definitely sign right out for you. They're all villagers from a nearby village. So they have no use. <laughs> Not here, but they will at yeah. Sparta. Aspire. This is yeah, how we they come from a village. They thank you because they come from a village that's uh, west of here. The shithead priest. <clears throat> so, uh, what are you planning to do with... Um, they've all decided that they'll ha- come and help you. If you want to recruit all of them. Okay, the drow aren't all that effective or useful. And what do you guys want to do with this... Uh, not a Lloyd. Because Wax all set to head south again. He's like, and, um, actually, let's find out. Okay. Wax is able to communicate with the not a Lloyd to get it to move, basically. Okay. So it can basically keep up with you guys. At half speed or whatever, or full speed? Um... Pretty close to full speed. Okay. All right. So I'll take the princess there, want to be with me, and I'll go talk to her. Okay. We'll do that on the yep. next section of yep. it. Um, do you guys want to collect all this stuff from the warehouse? Yes. yes. Yep. We'll have everybody, all the farmhands and everything, go down, help them, bring it all up. I, I want to make sure first things first that the throne from our spell jammer gets back to the spell we'll jammer. have him carry it. Yeah, have him carry it. 25 okay. strength on That's going to take you guys like a good two, three hours. That's fine. Okay. And then from there, you're going to head, start heading south? Yep. Back to the Black Dragon. Okay. Are you putting the majority of the goods on the Nautiloid or on your ship? Don't we have an empty... Well, we'll ask, uh, we'll ask Wack if he needs anything on there from what's in there. I don't know. All right, right now, we'll just throw it all on this one have, ship. I have a new friend. All right. Yeah, we'll just throw it all on our ship for now, and we'll call it a day, and we'll go through it later. Okay, so um, at, you're heading south then. It's going to be, at this point, like two and a half days travel. Okay, in order to get there. What? Don't, don't we have an empty storage area in the bottom of our ship? Yeah. yeah. We can put all the Mostly stuff Mostly trees in there, though, yeah. too. You put most of, you can put most yeah. of the stuff in there. Not all of it will fit. Someone's got to rework her tree. 
Well, she's already working that in the yeah. plant bed, so... And the storage area, so we take most of it, I yeah. guess, on the E1. The rest of it can be destroyed on the Nautilus, anything that doesn't look of value, really. Or just destroyed, or left there. Yeah, that's true, too. Oh, fuck that, destroy it all. Burn this fucking place before you leave. So, after you collect all the goods, mm -hmm. okay, sure, burn it. Mm-hmm. I mean, you just want a few empty storage buildings. Like, yeah. there's not much to put power in. There's no point. Right. But it gives the Illithid less to come back to. Yeah, sure. I'll tell my pixie to go into Assault Mode and just blow things away with fireballs. <laughs> because it's not that I just don't have anything. Okay. The drow start releasing their frustration, and so does everybody else, including the dragonborn. Let them go. Have fun. Let's all do right. it. Um, all right. So, the next day... Because uh, at that point you're into the evening, so you guys want to rest for the night before you head south, or we should probably rest. Up. Yeah, because I'm sure Wack could probably want want a little bit of rest too before we start in this. Okay, so <laughs> you guys rest for the night. Um, somebody roll an encounter for me just to see what's going on. Who's next? That'd be you. No, that'd be him. I just want. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he did the, I rolled the yeah, seventy with the last one. storm. I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Luckily, it wasn't any higher. It would have been a lot worse. 82. Okay. You said rest. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. So you guys start heading south. Okay. The Illithid ship is still not back up to full health, the Nautiloid, but um, Wack is mostly controlling it. Okay. Barely. <laughs> He's still learning how to communicate with it. Right. Um, you guys start traveling south. Um, who's keeping watch? I will. I'd be talking to Princess there. All right. I'll Make a perception check. I'll keep watch as well. No, I base your base roll. Base roll. Oh, come on. You're checking out the distance. 12? 15. All right. I don't make a good, good watcher right now. Um, All right. Good fucking vent popper. So, in the morning, you start talking to her? Or I would have started in the last night, but whatever. Oh, it's a good thing you fucking rolled, not me. Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh. An ancient dragon comes out of nowhere, sits on our fucking, fucking ship, and made an alliance and <laughs> yeah. decided to kill you. And they're both ancient. You do know each other. <laughs> And they're both ancient. They're by Can we warp speed out of here, Sulu? <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. Work on the goddamn chair. <laughs> Put the chair back where it belongs. <laughs> Start working on that. You and a robot. Go to town. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I wrote down the names so I didn't have to write, remember them later because I'm going to have to write this up later anyway um so they he, she introduces herself to you and you helped her and you and whack helped create the new brother yep so overnight with whack working with you not only were does wax merge his soul onto the new body but the new body reformed to form to look just like the original brother sweet um He's out of it and completely confused the next day. Understandable. But that's Wack tells you that's relatively common for a few days. Yeah, I figured that. All I've right. been there, done this. So uh, who's sitting down and talking with them? Or is it just him, you and the princess? Probably me. As you stated. Yeah. You're uh, there too? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm trying to find out what happened, find out the <clears throat> timeline, find out who she is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure, this works. I'll try at least. Um, Sexy. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but... So, my name is Alara Vanshin. Um, I am a dragonborn who has traveled with this ship that we are on, which is much smoother, which is odd with the tree across its bottom now, and... How are you guiding it without the fins? We don't use fins anymore. Those are ugly. I, I always thought they were kind of ugly as well, but... Now we use anti-gravity. 
and for it for like based I've propulsion. I've never heard of this science. Yeah. We can show you. Fascinating. I figured you would be. We will Excellent. send you to our tech guy later. <laughs> um, and this is my brother, Balin. Thank you so much for saving him. Um, Glad we could help. Yes, his old body is far too mangled. And I I've know. <laughs> never seen anyone that's been able to bring back someone back to their original form as such. What, what's your secret? Why can I use a different sort of magic than any of you people do? I would be fascinated to learn this. So, what brings you to our fair area? Uh, we came here picking up Whack. He was kind of stuck in this realm, and we needed his help. The goblin? Yes. And you hear Whack. Goblin? Where? <laughs> That'd be you, Fucking Psycho. dirty creatures. <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I am Whack. I am not... Dirty goblin. Good job. You're right, Psycho. I'm sorry. That's what Fuck doing. yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Boy. I psycho whack. That's why. What I love you him. say? Nothing. You're upstairs <laughs> talking to people. <laughs> you saying I goblin? No, I'm saying you're whack. <laughs> I am whack. <laughs> whack. Jason is nodding, sitting next to this whole thing. I haven't spoken bad words. No, I'm downstairs with my plants. Oh, oh okay. So I can still hear them from like veins yeah. here. The uh -huh. Showing the farm hands how you're doing shit. <laughs> Teach a couple of villagers how to yeah. farm. <laughs> exactly. Oh yeah, they'd be loving to work in that area. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I couldn't escape them even if I tried. Probably not. Yeah, but right now you want to teach them anyway, so this way when we you know leave that spire, they can actually start raising their own food once we can actually get the land uh, workable. Yeah. So, I cannot thank you enough for saving me and your eclectic friends. Um, how can we ever repay you? We need crew members, and we'd like you and your brother to join us. The rest of your crew has already come aboard. So, what is your mission or purpose? Um, I kind of will then pop We up. hunt big creatures. I want their teeth. He want to make them into creatures, and I want to punch them. He want to punch them, and he want to make money off them. And he want to make stuff out of them, um, or make or pet, pet th <laughs> or make pet. And other one I think want to eat them, or get them fucked up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on her mood that day. It's not wrong, <laughs> right? Yeah, not right. I'll, I'll fuck them up. I'll, 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 I'll them. poach her, and well, then your friend is rather blunt. Um. But, yes. Uh, uh, Okay. We work for a uh, merchant company, a uh, a rather large, expansive merchant company from far away from here. Oh, aye, so do we. Toka? Who? We work for Toka. The Toka company Never we Never heard of it. It's not common around here, I gather, yeah. and not very well liked or appreciated like it is around from most places. some of the places. gods around here. Oh, we are from the Silver Eagle, Tra Silver Eagle Trade Guild. That's the bottom. Hmm. Which, which, oh, which one? The halflings. The what again? Silver Eagle. The Silver Eagle Trade Guild. We do trade all throughout through all throughout Fyrun. We have a fleet of over seventy-five ships. Well, seventy-four now. No, this is not one of our ships. Oh, okay. That's good. No, we just came for a ride. This is our first time on this ship. So how would you like guys like to start working for us? Your merchants, you should be fit right in with the merchant company. I'd be glad to talk rates with you. I'll pay you a pot a week each. Different concept than okay. the workers. Merchants work on commission. I know. That's what I was going to say, though. We'll pay them one flat rate of one plot each, and then I was going to divulge to him. How are we gonna lose money? If they're that good, they should be making tons of money. You said they were that good. Well, if not, you fire them or kill them. <laughs> Take your pick. But, um, let's not do the full business conversation All right. now. Alright. Okay, we don't need to waste time, especially if you guys want to do this fight. Very true. Um, 
So, not to be rude, but back on track. Yep. So, we've been traveling through, or at least our mission was to travel through, in order to stop the slavers, which apparently we have now done, thanks yes. to you. Um, and it's so weird to see them flying next door. Um, weren't you flying the ship, little green one? Oh, I fly ship right now. How are you flying the ship from here? I work. Ship, talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to be here fully. Or there. Or there fully? I'm here, I'm there, I am everywhere. <laughs> sure are, buddy. <laughs> so, um... I make whack sense. <laughs> say he's pretty wacky. So, um... Sorry. What is your general purpose? To make money. And to help people sometimes, depending on... Now, the help people the... part I like. Well, we came and helped you. I very much thankful. I was it Took us a couple terrified. days out of what we were doing, but... What are you working on now? I'm going after his new friend. My soon-to-be pet. Yeah, big black thing with horns, and he mean and eat people. He looks at you guys. Is he talking about the black dragon down south? Aye. You're off to kill it. Aye. It's been killing oh, too many yeah. people. Oh, good. I'm glad you're in agreement. Um, oh, he's been killing people up, down, and all over the place for the last 700 plus years. We're about to return the favor. Ouch. I didn't like that cold one. one. He's almost as bad as the green one. The green one's a You're familiar with the green one. Yeah, we, we don't so like do we. We're going to come back to that bastard later. Later, later another Yeah, time. that old girl, though. She mostly protects the younglings. The green one? I'm drooling. Hi. I'm drooling. Well, her misty forest is a very safe place for young dragons to be born, raised and born. And, well, the black one to the south would just eat them. True. So would you say that the one, the dragon in the south, is a solitary creature? <laughs> You're not from here, are you? No. Nope. Oh. Like no. Of existence. No, I, I know I'm not in my area, but I'm just south of my area somewhere on the continent. Make a history check. D20, right? Yep. Nineteen. Good job. Seriously? 17 in my twos, man. I thought you were a fucking barbarian and you're fucking... Oh, okay. This week on Masterpiece Theater. I know, the barbarian about... is giving you a history lesson on the Black Dragons of Faerun. Wait, what? <laughs> I, like, killed them. His caveman <laughs> speech all of a sudden shifts into perfectly clear and calm <laughs> as he gives us this brilliant Fucking scholarly. <laughs> and today we discuss the history of the Scourge of the Southern Realm. The Black Dragon. Uh. <laughs> Lost my thought. <laughs> You're a butterfly. Kill me. But kill me. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna kill it anyway. Um, hopefully. Hopefully. Or die trying one of the two. Or be really, really feeling pathetic if a dragon named Kill Me fucking killed you. <laughs> <laughs> Scourge of the Southern Realm, devourer of villages. Hero parties have been laid bare, and its lair is apparently scattered with the bones of over a thousand adventurers that have tried to kill it over the last few hundred years. Also currently surrounded by the bones of other dragons and creatures that it's killed as well. Nothing survives within its territory. Sure, well, I can find a couple of cute skeletons oh, to claim. That's worth money. <laughs> if I'm not wrong about that, I... even I know that. What? My you want your dragon lich? lich is right there. Oh, be... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What I get for the history thing? Huh? What I get for my role? Learning it. Learning on the background. He was just telling you the last 10 minutes. minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> dragon bone. 
So, I mean, yeah, you have enough to make a dragon. That's life. what you know that you can share with everybody. What he said. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> there might be enough there that I can make a Dracolich. Given a little bit of time, if you guys could distract him, I could raise the Dracolich and have him help fight. So, do you even know how to summon a Dracolich? Is that like even a spell? Still, my raising dead. But they just, when dragons are reborn, they're reborn as dragonlands. Well, from death. I think you just made a dragon. Oh. I, don't know. I guess so. Which would still be cool. That would be awesome. So, yes, I would be glad to help you kill it. All right. So, what's the plan? Um, we have a general location as given to us by Wack of the location of the Black Dragon in the south in the Swamplands. Yes, I know exactly where it is. Um, okay. could you get us to a certain range of it so we could sneak up to it and ambush it? Definitely. Alright, that yeah. sounds agreeable. Do we have anybody of your crew? Have a good night. Take yeah. care, brother. Later, have a good everyone. one. See ya. Do any of your crew here, can they fire these cannons? Yes. All of them. Okay. The deckhand good. actually is a very good shot. Good. Alright, so while we're on our trip, can we hook up a mad cell to him? I'm not teaching these guys about no, 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 I just want. No, as long as they can hook it up is to not an easy hookup. The, the, no. the, the, even the only battery I have left on me personally is a level 5. I've and got, that would blow up every cannon in this I've got 5 mm -hmm. level 1s on me. Or I, well, cells, sorry. I, so batteries, they so. no, you got it right the first time. I, I mean, in you are in your possession. And if they know how to work them, that means they can actually just fire them themselves. Yeah, let me look at my. Yeah. Okay. Should be right here. All right, just making sure. Making sure it's on the same page. Yeah. Okay. He has enough that we can attach him. And me and him can magicell it. They can actually fire level them one. themselves. They can fire them one magicells. Yeah. And the magicell connection isn't going to work well with these. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We have to remake the yeah. cannons. Then. Your magicell would probably blow it up. Yeah. Yeah. We need okay. to make better. But they can fire them. We have four functioning cannons. If we get the carpenter to work on those ballista, we have some up. We, they have some upper range. Oh, could... uh, the ballista would take me. Two days to fix. Don't have the time, unfortunately. Take me half a day each. Mm. Get a journey from here to there? Try and get the fucking, yeah. as many as you can done. Start on the first About one. Day and and a half. Two days? Was it two days? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I then... Get to work then. Yeah, I tell the carpenter to you get to work. You want to give him advantage and help him? Carpenter, fix the tr uh, tr buffs to there. I don't know if I can fix that shit. <laughs> Do you want to with a little guidance on um, uh, your blacksmithing uh, skill, I'm sure, you know, you can probably I work I mean, we're basically in. making these into ballista. That's All the right. only way it makes sense. So, uh, do a perception check for the afternoon. Thirteen. Nat 20. 21. Okay. 14. To the... 17. Um... West and slightly to the south, you see rising from the forest about 15, 20 miles away, because you rolled so high, um, rising from the forest and going above the cloud cover, what looks to be a dragon. I let the group know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I will point in the direction and say I. We don't saw have a scanner here, do we? Dragon. We do. Dragon in the forest. Zeke. Could he? Could Zeke scan it? It's within range if it's at twenty miles. So could Zeke? Uh, could Could Zeke use his enhanced? Uh, I don't think Zeke's range is twenty miles. When he's attached to the ship, when we are to follow. The, oh, we had the skiff. Zeke, Never mind. Zeke Shit, we don't have the skiff anymore. Things. No, we had the skiff. We did, but we don't anymore. We move on. Zeke That's can sad. Scan Zeke had the advanced scanner, but we had him on the skiff. Yeah, yeah we need to put the we advanced need, scanner. Yeah. On this. You always ask me to put one on this, but, but you that, lost the skiff. That'll take time. Yeah. Take on it. Yep. So, All right. So, well, sad. We'll probably I think go up with the clouds. Go above the clouds with it, so we can have a better. Yeah, we, sight we, on we it. don't want to have this thing come at us from the sky. Yeah. So we should probably increase in ele elevation. Up there, though. Huh? Better than it dive bombing our top of us from a That's harsh angle. We can go up a lot higher than that dragon because we can go to space. Can he? Can we? 
Now we can, technically. <laughs> With the throne thing you put in, right? Yeah. Have you installed it? That's the yeah, adventure that just brings yeah. back to the ship. And... Yeah, but have you actually installed it? That's what they were working on. I guess not. You set the carpenter to fix the ballista, not to... Him and Zeke were supposed to be fixing the chair. That tinker thing? No. Yeah, so... Oh. Well, if that's the case, we should probably focus on that You first. want someone to uh, to work on it that's actually worked on one before. Yeah, so, time. I mean, if that's if, if the chair's not installed and well, just sitting next to it. Well, we don't have the two days it. to build the ballista anymore because the dragon's here. Yeah, he's got a valid yeah. point. Yeah, so yeah, I don't and think it would be a day to reconnect the... Uh, dragon's closing. Uh, 20, yeah. 20 miles. All right, so have him just start working on the chair. I get all hands on deck. I guess we'll have the crew man the cannons and get okay. ready to possibly deal with. So with issues. that check, you can see that the green dragon is slowly coming towards green your dragon. That into your direction. Yeah, the one that came out of the forest. Well, now that you're above the cloud cover, you get better light to see the hints of green coming off of it. That's the green dragon that came out of the forest. I'll, I'll tell the the party. That's the yeah. green dragon. You rolled high encounter. Yeah. yeah. I thought we were gonna put the black dragon. We were. We were. We were. Okay. Someone rolled you're on your way to it, but you gotta go by Close the green enough. dragon that you already pissed off. Yeah, and I rolled an eighty-two, so they like. Uh... Well, I was watching the dragon kid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe. I'm not a concern. Could be a different one. Who knows? Maybe there's two green dragons. Though. Whack. What? I'm gonna sneak down there and steal the eggs while we fuck the green dragon. No. <laughs> The four, that jungle almost killed us before. I don't think anyone one of us want to go back. I don't know where Nest is. I think the only person that's right. that might None be of your fucking guys can find kill the dragon. It's holding the slayer mind poison and Maybe. I don't know. I've not killed poison. dragon before. I haven't either. It's a first for me. <laughs> I only have one dragon tooth. So I, I guess... You might want to use it, because he's coming after us now. I'm not answering yet. <laughs> He's on vacation. <laughs> Fucking Haiti. <laughs> I get the drow villages down below, tell them to secure themselves in the guest rooms to get away from any possible things. For their sake. <laughs> Gen Four of nerds. them go directly to the cannons. That's okay. Mount them and you see them start to glow. That's fine. That's agreeable. The rest do they head over to get themselves cover. Yeah. Because I just want to get them out of the way. So we, And yep. the hobbits, okay. the merchants. A couple seem to back up the ones around the magic cannons. Support guys. How many yeah. are down there? There's ten total. Whatever. Whatever they need. Okay. Oh, no, I meant how many are manning the cannons out of the ten? Four. Okay. So that's... The drow are manning the cannons? Yeah. I guess so. Drow have magic. All right. Cool. They're yeah. elves. All right, so... Drow, can you guys cast... All of you, if you guys all cast darkness? Okay. That would give us advantage because it wouldn't know exactly where we all are. Between all of them, they all did it in different spots of the ship. It should give us. But a then you won't be able to see through it either. Yeah. But if dragon comes close, then we can cast dra darkness on it. So it's a secondary attack yeah, from the cannon hole. Work. So that's a backup. We so. just have to focus our darkness spells on an object. Okay. So right. we'll do that. Until the dragon gets here. It's darkness about a fifteen foot ball of. Yeah, we so can that do that. All right, so they you, so, yeah, that works. That'll give a disadvantage on everything it does. So, um, now so do who's, drive, who's, uh, who's driving the MR? Zeke. Zeke, okay. <laughs> all right. Um, I mean, you could have Marquis tag out with him. Ma Marquis following me, unless I, unless yeah, I'm mistaken. Yeah, we'll, we'll meet her about that. Right. Do we want to zip probably. down so we're closer to the ground? So we're trying to bring this thing onto the ground? Yeah, we don't want to ruin the ship. We don't want to get attacked on the ship. I don't think an aerial battle is quite the best thing. No. All right, goes so kind of basically, I'm just asking. Um, I think we should go on the ground and. All right, so basically, we'll get down to within a small level and try to get the ship. We can try to get just attention with some cannon fire and look. Well, I'm just ground. thinking, just more along the lines of down by the ground. So if we crash and burn, we're not crashing and burning from you know ten thousand, twelve thousand feet. Sam, roll an intelligence check, please. I think it's smart if we do fight it on the ground, not on the ship. I'm using my luck for my pick. Who's not in Valkyrie mode yet? I just ground. want to say that out loud. It's still going to stay airborne. Son of a fucking more than likely. The second one. Three. Uh, so that's a seven. Okay. Take a look at your uh, Vel at your modes. And don't you have a shield mode? I mean, the shield's only about 50 foot radius, though. Yeah, that's at the Pixies level. Yeah. 
Yeah, 10 foot radius. Mm -hmm. Up to 10 feet away from the caster, an AC 5. Yeah, and it costs how many magic cell points? Um, it lasts one round with three, uh, three magic cell charges. Okay, so that's it, three magic cell charges. Pump it up. You can overcharge if you have more magic cell charges. That's one option. Got my five cells. Okay, the other option is... The ship itself yeah, has its own shielding. Yeah, it does. That's why we have gravity, right? That's why yeah. we have air. When yeah. we just went above the cloud cover, we wouldn't be able to normally breathe unless there was a mineral. Yeah, too. the air is still nice and clear. Yeah. And easy. <clears throat> so this thing does have a bit more protection than you might be thinking. And you also have an illithid ship, Nautiloid, flying right next to you. Yeah, I thought about that ship being it too. I mean, if the Nautiloid <laughs> runs interference and more casting from the deck, and we have the cannons on the sides and a tractor beam if we really tried to grab this I'm thing. I'm going to just it. go to sleep. But I can't fight it. Uh, axes. <laughs> Yeah. And honestly, I mean, the thing is, if we wound it, it either falls to its death, or at least falls down to the earth, or it falls onto the deck, and then it may <coughs> come in handy so we can punch the shit out of it. So, what do you guys want to really do? Take to it off? Do you guys want to try to avoid it? And run away from it? Do you want to try and attack it in the air? It's a dragon. Or we try and it. lure it down to the ground? I think luring it to the at least closer to the ground is a good idea. Okay. Okay. To the ground, yeah. so it, it is grab it. It is all forest underneath. Without securing him What's to the hull. What's the anti grab gonna do? Drag it. Boom. And my anti pixie can do anti grab. So it'll just float away. No, 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 no. Anti grab makes parts of its body. Now, mind you, a dragon is a big creature. Anti gravity creates less gravity. Yeah, around okay. a certain a target. A gravity but... shot creates extra gravity. So if you want to try and throw it down to the ground, you want extra gravity. Yeah, I have See, that. Anti-grav on. B both, both me and my pixie has an anti-gravity, uh, a heavy gravity shot, not anti-gravity. My bad. Um, so yeah, um, we can bring it down to, and keep it on the ground, at least parts of its body. It's if wings. we're lucky. Wings, even its leg. If its leg is at three times gravity, it's not gonna be able to lift the pull up of the rest of its body to fly. One wing and a leg. Oh, and its head. A second. If we can get its head gravity well, down, yeah. second you get a wing down, it won't be able to fly. That too. So we try to. We're trying to cripple it. One we're gonna try. We're gonna bring the ships down. Um, I'm gonna tell Whack to keep the Nautiloid moving. Can he do that? Yeah. I just, yeah, I think he can. In case that either a we have do to what he can with it. Unless we have to crash an Nautiloid on its head if we start going to shit, we'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, he good boy. He happy now that he, that we treat him nicer and not yeah. make things shit in him. Um, you not like when things shit in him. Understandable. <laughs> I, I but he's very hungry. Well, tell him there's about to be a dragon for Din Din. He's allowed to eat it? He can eat some. Okay. <laughs> well, you only need a piece, and I just need... Is anyone looking at the Nautilite at, at this moment? Sure, why not? Yeah, I'm okay. trying to make sure that he's going to keep it up. Its active. tentacles start flailing outwards, not just straight forward, but like in a full fan outward in front of it. Yes. And the whole thing just seems to just almost seem bigger. He's happy as fuck. It's din, -din time. I'm pretty sure you're not going to get that dragon in one piece, though. I look up at the, you know, fiending Nautiloid getting hungry over there. I don't uh, need him in one piece. I just need most of them working. Not sure you're going to get that, but okay. Well, we got another one. That Whack, tell him anyways. not to hit the wings of the head. Um, Try, I can't promise you If that. it help, Try. it not eat bone or scale. You, you're fine. That's fine. I don't need anything. So Can what it will do soul? is eat its brain. That's fine. It doesn't need a brain for me. Oh, perfect. And that's all it eat. And it, the dragon's all his, as far as that goes. Although it maybe it like other meat now. I'll have to try. <laughs> I will worry about that later. Right now, let's get this motherfucker. I wonder what it'll eat. So Ooh, I do. You want, can we? A lot of bad guys. Can we basically here. put the Eberron ship on a clearing? Is there any clearing big enough? It's all forest underneath you. Thick, lush forest. There's no open planes anywhere in sight. Fuck. All right, so there goes the ground attack. Well, in sight, about 20, 30 miles to your east. 
we can try to run it we can drag it and um anyone on the back can probably try to keep the dragon tailing us make sure it's visible and then we can try to get to the clearing because if we get it down to a clearing bring it down to the ground and ha maybe have that non alloy gnaw on its skull a little bit we should be good yeah all right, so, so I guess we make for the clearing. Tall neck. We're gonna head towards the clearing. Oh. Well, it'd be easier to fight him that way. Okay. What would you do, Wack? Go eat him. I mean, yeah, we're going to over there, so this way all of us can actually hit him. Yeah, go over there, and then I hop on his back, and I try to make friends with him, and then when I not make friends with him, I zap him really hard, and then not, and then. Big thing will eat him, and you can have other parts, and you guys will zap him. And I try not to get killed in process. And then I steal his tooth, and we good. Yep, we'll do that at the clearing. Sound agreeable? Yeah, I guess so. But that's far over that way, and Dragon might get tired and give up. Fire. I know I not want to fly an extra 40 miles to go and catch food that's flying away. Mm. That especially, is a valid point. point. Especially when it's two big ships I have to go after now. Mm. All right, Definitely. so I suggest we just settle the ship above the forest level where we're at, above the foliage, because if the thing's not going to follow us, or we can try to outrun it. Uh, bring it down. Bring it down. Fighting us, I think. Then yep. bring it down. We'll bring it down to just above the foliage cover, so at least we can just kind of get ourselves a center line. So you're going below the cloud cover. It's still pretty cloudy and overcast from that storm. But we'll still have plenty Is of time. The, can we, we still verify the dragon's on its way towards us? You can definitely feel that it's on the way towards you. You can't see it, though, if you're up below the clouds. But above the clouds, we'd have the visibility to see it coming. Yes. Okay, so it looks like this is the best location. Yeah, if I could just stay up top, let's right. fighting it here. Yep. Uh, the drow's got the cannons on the baseline. Um, in darkness. Planer. I'm good. Um, actually, no, they're all good. Feather fall. It's day. Yeah. Honestly, ball. just um, actually right. attach your robot to your arm and you have anti gravity floating. Just like I have pixie attachments. That helps me and you. So you can fly. Well, I can. I'm not, I'm not sure about you, man. I We're like 160 can... feet up. If you drop, I think it's We're done. A lot more than that. We're yeah. trying to grab them. Yeah. I can feather fall everybody. Except no, that he'll yank Just make sure if we start there. falling, yeah. come towards me. I've got an anti gravity and slow fall. So, I mean... Okay, so it's now still about five miles out. Pardon them. All right. All right, I guess we're just going to get ready on the deck. Fighting a dragon. Make sure we got all our pets here. Quick smoke before we start this big battle. Yeah, yeah. Well, that sounds fair. Yeah. Zeke's tucked under my cape. Yeah. to my back. Yeah, so you got your droid on you. I got my pixie. Yeah. I got my pixie out ready to go Valkyrie. Alright, my Etten's completely useless, so I don't even bother. I'll put him away, put him in his ball, so if anything happens, he's with me anyway. I mean, we can bring it onto the ship, then... If the dragon lands on the ship, he could have... Actually, what's the dragon's size in compared to the ship? The size of the ship? Oh. About this big. I imagined a lot bigger. If I had a bigger mini, I'm sure that might be on the table, but I don't. This is the biggest dragon I got. No, we're only doing an adult. I'm not doing an ancient worm. Oh, we God. die. Like, I'm sorry. Even I know that. The yeah. thing, no offense, it would be casting spells on us, and that's a little much. Oh, so All is right. this. See ya. But we'll it, the, the, less the deadly nearest, spells. Yeah. It won't be ninth level plus. Yeah. Uh, but. At least, we, at least that dragon shouldn't be able to cast anything past, like, sixth, seventh level max. Even though it's a black dragon, we're going against the green dragon because you rolled too high on the right on the encounter going by the forest. We pissed him up first time he let us go. Second time, fuck you. He's yeah, I done. didn't even think this was a green dragon. I can't wait to kill this guy after his this acid fucking fog. You mm. must avenge the skiff. <laughs> yes, and all the fucking tech we lost on it. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out the gun. All right. I'll punch so you I guess we're going to take a break for a quick yeah. cigarette. Quick cigarette. Come back for a fight. <sighs> well, also, mind you, if we...